We went to Kakuma with a colleague from the World Bank and we were walking around the camp. Uh, and as usual, I was focusing more on vulnerability. And then at some point, this colleague from the World Bank just stopped and he showed me something and he said, what is this? And I said, this is a mobile phone shop. Um, and I was planning to continue and focus on what we normally focus on. And he said, no, it's interesting. Why would there be a mobile phone shop here? Does it mean that people are buying mobile phone here, that there is a market? Um, how about that person who is selling the mobile phone? What is his capital? Um, how can he be helped? This type of thing. And that suddenly got me to try and think differently and see that other people were actually seeing the potential. trained, the way we are wired, the way we, are, we, we, we think, uh, we tend to look at vulnerability and we tend to go to a place and look at those who suffer the most and those who are the most in need of our intervention. But we don't look at those who are talented, those who have a potential, those who are already doing things. Because in any refugee camp, you have people who are getting married, there are people who are playing music, performing for audiences. You have a normal life. And that normal life also needs to be nurtured, needs to be supported, needs to be looked at by us, and we need to see what we can do to help that. About a month ago, I was in, uh, I was in Kakuma and met with a lady who has a seamstress. She's a seamstress, she has a, a tailoring shop. Um, she's doing fairly well. She has six or seven employees. And when I asked her, I said, what more would you need? And she said, the type of material that I'm getting here is not what I would like. Uh, and I know that in Côte d'Ivoire, uh, they, they sell very good uh, material. And she says, I need, but I need a document to travel. I need a, and she actually needs a conventional travel document. So somebody who's doing well, but who could do even better if she was given that, that uh, help, that support. You have people who live in a refugee camp uh, for 20 years uh, or more. So we cannot, our response cannot just be food distribution every month. Our response has to be to also address people's hopes, people's expectations, and people's willingness to be included in the society where, where they are. I've seen that when you talk about refugees as economic agent, when you talk about refugees as contributors to the economy, uh, then the host population sees them differently. The perception, the way refugees are perceived is, is different and more positive. The fact that we have invested not just in their vulnerability but also in their potential has resulted in a much greater sense of self-worth, more positive sense of wealth worth than, than, uh, in, the, than in the past.